welcome back everybody. This is heat number three, the pre-final of one of the feature classes, the tag 125 Restricted Lights. And it is Davis and Moist from the front. Second row, McNeil and Glover. Third row, Andreu and Stock. Fourth row, Smith and McCormack. Fifth row, Oksana and Macklot. Behind them, Edmonds and Jarvis. Behind them, Mortensen and McKenzie. Then it's Seacum and Castles. Then Tullock, Facer, Boyle, Trowinski, Bisgro, Gray, Brown, Boheim and Jarvis. Plenty of tracks out on tra carts on track for this one. This is one of your feature classes. It is the third heat of TAG 125 Restricted Lights. And as we've already heard from that man, Steve Edmund, starting out of 11, he had a ball in the last one. What will he do this time? Will there be some shenanigans into the kink? Will they all get through cleanly? It's anyone's guess. Davis and Moyes are probably the comfortable ones. McNeil and Glover, you just don't know. Andreu and Stock, who could say? Do we go green light racing? Yes, we do. Away they go into the kink. And they've all got through cleanly at the moment. Oh, that's a coasting cart. That's the 27 of Jack Boyle. Disaster, he's gone in already. Just didn't kick. Do they all scream? Single file already through Crane Hotline. Battles at the back though, and already up towards us then. He got the whole shot, it was Davis from Moyes. Glover got to third. What a drive from Glover. McNeil's gone down to fifth. It must be Andreu, it is Andreu's up to fourth. Through he's gone, down towards Howard's they go. Davis then, holding on out front, but don't count Moyes out yet. He really will fancy this. 10 laps, remember, for the pre-final for these guys. Through they go, through the king, driving the wheels off them. Edmonds, he's on the charge. Edmonds is already up to six from P11. How did he do that? Unbelievable from Steve Edmonds. He is driving the wheels off that 16 now. After that accident in the early one, he is now right on it. Through Patrese as he goes. Next up will be McNeil, if he can catch him, with eight laps to go. Through DTE they go, onto the back straight. All getting their head down, and Edmonds is in hot pursuit of the five in front. Through they come, through Howard's. Oh, big twitch there. That was Glover, almost lost it sideways. Had to bring it back in. He very nearly lost it. And now Andreu, does he get taken by McNeil? I think he did. Oh, no, he didn't. McNeil had to yield. Andreu holds him off. And that's bringing Edmonds really close to them. Edmonds is on the charge and almost caught those in front. It's gonna be a battle for fourth very soon between four cards. Through they go, through Patrese's. Oh, McNeil, he is definitely having trouble with the handling of that 31 cart. It looks like he's got a bayliner underneath him. You might as well put a Bigfoot 60 horsepower on the back and drive that thing round here, because it is all over the show. Through he comes, Edmonds has already caught him. Through they come, through 13. Can he make it handle better? McNeil, he really needs to. He's got Andreu holding him up. Through they come, through the leaders. Davis, Moist, still Glover in third, still Andreu fourth. And now this battle's become four. One becomes four. Andreu, McNeil, Edmonds and Stock all together. Stock had a look. He thought about it then. Another one of the Nissan replica sponsored carts. Castle livery all down the side of it. Harry Stock absolutely on fire in the second half of this meeting. Through they come then, through Howard's. On to 12, on to 13. The leaders have already gone through, but don't take your eyes off that man there. Paul McNeil right behind Andreu. And in turn, they've got Edmonds and Stock 
behind them. And now Stock has been caught by Oxanen. It's going to be a five-way. Unbelievable. Now it's five. Oxanen, he's got to the back of them. Through Crane Hot Line. Four laps done, six to go. Edmonds looks to be struggling a bit. Stock really wants to go through, but he's being held up. Harry Stock, he's going to try somewhere. He definitely will go there. Yeah, Stock goes to a DTE, but the cutback's done, and he might lose two. He did. Oh, disaster. Oksana went through as well. He got through, but he just did a, such a late move. He had absolutely zero drive coming out of the corner. Through they've all gone. On to start, finish straight. Wait for the leaders to come back. It is Davis out front from Moist. Through next will come Glover, then Andreu, McNeil, Edmonds, Oxana, Stock, Smith, then McCormack, Matlock, Mortensen. Then it's Castles, Tullock, Vesa, Seacom, Drewinski, Gray, Bisgrove. Then it's going to be Boheim. Through comes Georgia. Next up, it'll be Jarvis and McKenzie. And then after Brianna McKenzie, it's Tommy Brown. As they've all gone through. Back with the leader then. Already through 12 and 13. Down onto the start, finish straight comes Ashley Davis. Holding on with a big, big lead. From Liam Moyes. Four laps still to go. And it's Edmonds who's got the battle. Through go the leaders. Then goes Glover, Andreu, McNeil. Edmonds has now got Oxanen right behind him. Oh, Oxanen. He had a real good look at him. Oxanen looks really racy. Stock's now got the bit between his teeth yet again. Through trees as they go. That threesome has been going for six laps. Oxanen up the inside. Through he goes. Demo Steve Edmonds back one. Will Stock go as well? Yes, he oh no. Oh Edmonds, where did those brakes come from? He outbraked himself and went straight on. He's lost three spots. Edmonds really tried to outbreak everybody. And unfortunately, he outbraked himself. And now he's gone right behind Jackson Smith. The leaders have already gone through. Through the flip-flop they go. Now, Stock can concentrate on Oxanen. Can he have a go at him? Through the speed bowl they come. Leaders have gone through. Single file for all of them. But Stock in that Nissan livery. Castrol sponsored cart is desperate. He wants Oxanen's sixth spot. Through DTE, they've gone. There's the 83. That's a big battle there as well. That is Trewinski and Bisgrove. Bisgrove, though, looked up the inside. Doesn't go through. Bisgrove now. Will she have a look at Trewinski? Yes, she does. Side by side. Oh, has to yield. Can't quite go through there. Still, Trewinski holds on from Bisgrove and Gray as they steam down the start finish straight. Over they go. Back with the leading drivers in. Down they go towards DTE. Eight laps have been done. White flag should be out. In the hand of the starter behind me. Ashley Davis should be taking it very, very shortly indeed as he's gone through Howard's on to 12, on to 13. He's showing him a clean pair of heels in this one. White flag is waved. Ashley Davis from Moist, from Glover, from Andreu, McNeil, Oxanen, Stock, Smith, Edmonds, McCormack, Macklot, Mortensen, Castles, Tullock, Vesa, Trewinski, Bisgrove, Gray, Seacom, Boheim, then it's Brown, Jarvis, Mackenzie. Through we go then, and the leader's already onto the back straight. Heading into Howard's for the last time. Leader from start to finish, the 25 of Ashley Davis, and your winner, Heat 3, the pre-final tag 
Restricted light, Ashley Davis. Second, Moisey. Third, Glover. Fourth, Andreu. Fifth, McNeil. Sixth, Oxanon. Seventh, Stock. Eighth, Smith. Ninth, Edmonds. Tenth, McCormack. Eleventh, Mortensen. Twelfth was Tullock Facer. Thirteenth, Castle. Then it's McCormack in fourteenth. Seacombe, fifteenth. Gray, sixteenth. Trawanski, seventeenth. Boheim gets eighteenth. McCormack, nineteenth. Brown, twentieth. Jarvis will record twenty-first. Brianna McKenzie, twenty-second. And it's Dion Jarvis. Unfortunately, it won't be finishing. And neither does Jack Boyle, he went in early.